Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. As her cult storyline unfolds in Coronation Street, Lean Battersby eventually finds herself the recipient of some unwelcome news. Lean first met Rowan earlier this year. He identified himself as the head of a self-help organization named The Institute. Lean was sucked into the group by Rowan's charm and cunning, and she hasn't left. Although she thinks the organization is incredibly helpful to trauma survivors, people like Nick Tilsley and Toya Battersby are aware that it is a dishonest enterprise. Lena has been focusing on hiring a new employee in recent weeks. Amy Barlow, a bright young lady who has also gone through a lot in the last few years, was the person she chose. In the latest video, Adi Allahan asks Lean, upon entering the bistro, who Amy is conversing with at a booth. The character, who had earlier expressed interest in using the money Deirdre Barlow provided her for the Institute, is speaking with a financial advisor. Lean gets a call as she's about to get Audie something to drink. Nick is on the line. He is at the hospital, helping Toya after she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Nick tells Lean what the consultant has to say and her expression falls with concern. Although Rowan commends Leanne for prioritizing her personal needs during this conversation, she later tells him that she has to visit Toya and doesn't have time to discuss about the Institute, which makes Rowan fearful that he is losing control of her. However, what has become of her? In the newest cult plot on Coronation Street, Lean Battersby will have to make yet another difficult decision. The Institute, lead by Rowan Cunliffe, has captured the attention of fans as Lean has succumbed to its ire. Rowan has been luring Lean deeper into the cult with his promises of bringing her and her son back together. Lean revealed to her partner Nick Tilsley an AI representation of her late son Oliver in a shocking turn of events. Oliver's current virtual self is how he would appear if he were still alive. Lena has been separating herself from her loved ones in order to communicate online with Oliver's artificial intelligence avatar. In scenes that will appear the following week, Rowan will intensify his attempts to further alienate Lean. As Lean undergoes surgery, viewers will witness her painful decision to keep her distance from her sister Toya Battersby. According to the Liverpool Echo, Rowan persuades Lean that putting her needs ahead of Toya's surgery is the right course of action. In an unexpected change of circumstances, Nick stays at Toya's side. As Amy Barlow informs Lean that she intends to spend her fortune in the new resource center, subject to Ken's approval, Lean's attention is diverted to the Institute. A consultant approaches Nick at the hospital with some news. He calls Lean to let her know that Toya is having problems and that she has to get over there right now. But Rowan doesn't let her go without a fight and keeps trying to cause a rift with Lean's family. When Lean tells him she's hurrying to visit Toya and doesn't have time for it, Rowan confronts her about Amy's decision and worries he's losing her. He understands that he must find another method to control her. Things become more problematic when Nick reveals to Toya that he's fallen in love her and that he intends to tell Lian about it once they reunite with her sister at the hospital. Meanwhile, Rowan sends Nick a menacing message threatening to reveal his affair unless he coughs up the £20,000 investment. Fans are in awe of Helen Flanagan as she revealed a significant update from Celebs Go Dating. Helen, 33, a former Coronation Street star, shocked everyone by divorcing her partner, Scott Sinclair. And since then, she has been searching for love all over again. She enrolled in the popular dating program on E4 to help her work through some of her problems as she prepares to go back on the dating scene. The latest season of the show is currently in production and is expected to premiere later this year but it hasn't stopped Helen from using social media to provide a significant update on her search for love. 
Helen startled everyone by posting two photos to her Instagram account as she got ready to leave the Celebs Go dating agency in central London. Helen looked stunning in a ruffled, form-fitting blue maxi dress as she stepped out through the famous black door. The sheen of the garment mirrored off her sun-kissed complexion, making the I'm a Celebrity star glow even brighter. When she was all done, she accessorized with a white over-the-shoulder clutch and a pair of tiny, nude kitten keels. The actress accessorized her look with a sterling silver bracelet on her left wrist and a pair of silver earrings that hung down her earlobes. Her makeup was equally extravagant, using heavy doses of a vibrant red lipstick and subtle contouring to accentuate her cheekbones. She wrote, Best day at the agency. In the post before tagging the Celebs Go Dating account and adding a butterfly emoji, the star quickly attracted admirers, with therapist Anna Williamson calling her a beaut. You look stunningly beautiful as always, exclaimed a follower, adding numerous heart emojis to her post. Sounds like you're having a ton of fun. Keep sharing your sunshine, another user commented. A third user said, I literally can't wait for this series to premiere. You're going to excel. Helen first acknowledged that she was experiencing severe mother guilt over not spending enough time with her daughters. Helen thanked a couple in an emotional Instagram post for giving up their seats so she and her daughter Matilda could enjoy afternoon tea together. So grateful for Matilda. Mummy got a bit teary, but they were happy tears. She wrote in an overly sentimental diatribe. Since starting therapy at the beginning of the year, I feel like I've been able to reconnect with myself, stop repressing my feelings, and allow myself to cry. I felt a little bit lost before I had Matilda. When I had my baby girl, it gave me a feeling of purpose and inspiration. She said, Whenever I'm stuck in a situation and don't know what to do, I think what would I want my daughter to do, and I do that. Another installment of the prequel novel series for Coronation Street is forthcoming. Six books in the series have been published by the soap opera thus far. The most recent, A Celebration on Coronation Street, was released earlier this year just in time for Mother's Day. With Merry Christmas Coronation Street as its working title, the seventh installment is likely to be a holiday delight. It will be released on November 21. But you can already purchase Merry Christmas Coronation Street for £8.27 and pence with a pre-order price guarantee from Amazon UK or BWH Smith. Or you can purchase it for £8.99 and pence from Foils or Waterstones. The book is also available for pre-order as an audiobook on Audible. See our comprehensive guide on using Audible to save money on your preferred audiobooks. Peggy Brown, an aspiring actress who shows up on the cobbles for a panto role at the Weederfield Majestic Theater, is a new character in Merry Christmas Coronation Street. Peggy quickly befriends the well-known figure Elsie Tanner, even though she is unaware of Elsie's recent boyfriend's involvement in the criminal underground. The two women quickly get into enough trouble to potentially ruin their entire life, including their holiday season. Author Maggie Sullivan has authored all the books in this prequel collection, and through these tales, she has lovingly and warmly paid homage to Coronation Street's history. Maggie's novels all take place prior to the events of the very first Coronation Street episode in 1960, allowing her to complete the backstories of the Grimshaws, Walkers, and Barlow's. A Celebration on Coronation Street, the series' most recent book, placed Queen Elizabeth A's coronation against the backdrop of Annie Walker and her son Billy's problems at the Rovers. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.